Welcome everybody. I have my vodka ginger. I have your beautiful smiles and welcome to day 49 of Sonia's Adventures. My name is Sonia. I'm a LARPer from Munich in Germany. I have been doing LARP for about seven or eight years now and I'm part of a group called Braka Keltoi, which is one of the biggest groups in Germany who do LARP with about 40 or 50 members. And today I would love to talk about three tips for LARP costumes under 20 euro. <laughs> but before I start, I would love to see if this is actually working. As usually, um, for those of you who have listened to me and watched me a couple of times, I usually have a bit of a problem with my camera. Let's see if this works. If you can see and hear me, please press the heart emoji under the live stream so I can see that this is actually working. <laughs> Let me check if people are here. Yeah, the first people are here. Nice to see you. Beautiful. Seems it's working. Can you, can you hear me? Is everything working all right? <laughs> oh, Stephanie. Hi, Bene. I'm going to have a sip of my vodka ginger because I totally earned it this time. Mm. And it would be lovely for all of you guys who do LARP for a long time. Please help me out. Use this community that we have here on my platform. I have about 1,800 followers right now. So there's 1,800 people who are interested in LARP. That's crazy cool. And you should definitely use this platform to exchange tips, to exchange tricks on, for example, cheap LARP costumes. So if you have any tips that I have forgotten, please help me out and comment below in the comment section and exchange so, please, so people that begin to LARP can totally use those tips. All right. Yeah, we have Nils saying whoop whoop. <laughs> Hi from Berlin to Marty. Hi back from Munich in Germany. And Sebastian, hi ho. Perfect. Right, seems we have a few people here. Then let's start with the three tips for cheap large costumes that cost you under 20 euro. So I think there is a problem in LARP. There's a huge barrier for people who want to start this hobby. And First of all, they don't have any information. You have to know about this hobby first. Nobody knows about LARP. It's not like bicycling or something that everybody knows about. Then you have to get information on, and it's really hard to get information. Then when you finally have the information, it's so much that you have to filter what is actually valid for you. And then in the end, it seems, oh, it's actually really expensive. You have to get costumes, and you have to get weapons, and you have to get tickets for the LARPs. So, I'm trying my best with these tips to make it easier for you guys out there and hopefully you can help me if you have been doing LARP already to help people start with LARP easier. And the main thing is that a lot of people think that LARP is expensive and they're right, but they're right because you can make it expensive. You can also make it fairly cheap <laughs> and today I want to show you three ways you can do that. Actually. I want to show you three actual products that cost you less than 20 euro that I personally use and that I just love so much and that you can just go and buy. Because if you know me, you know that I hate crafting. And I mean, hate crafting. <laughs> I'm really bad at it. So I don't really like to do it. <laughs> it's just that simple. So I kind of like to go somewhere and click buy and let other people make it for me and then just get it. Um, so here are three things. By the way, <laughs> I'm not earning any money from this. It's just because I find them so cool that I want to show them to you. And here is number one. Last weekend, I've been to a LARP. It was winter here in Germany, and that means it was minus 10 degrees, I'd say. It was fr frozen. Everything was frozen. And um, we actually, my good friend Anna, found something on Amazon, which is I just love so much. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a pair of leggings, but the pair of leggings has a beautiful secret. <laughs> it's completely filled with fleece. It's completely fluffy inside. It's really warm. It's super thick, like that thick. And it's one size. It looks very short, but I'm in European size. I'm one meters and 80 centimeters tall. So I'm fairly tall and they fit me. They also fit our smaller girls. And the best thing is, 
they cost 10 euro. <laughs> they cost 10 euro and, they're, and they took two days to arrive. They're brown and they're completely, you can completely wear them in game, you wouldn't see. And flexible and I just love them. And it was so warm, like you can't even imagine how warm it was. I had a little leather skirt and these and I was good to go and it was like minus 10 degrees. So totally worth it. That was tip number one. Also, including in that tip number one, there's more things on Amazon that I just want to show you while, because I just had them here. This scarf, I had a picture of it, completely fluff inside, knitted outside. If you add a few things, it's totally fine for in-game. Probably cost, I think, around 10 bucks as well. Um, I think Amazon next day shipping, so pff, perfect. And then all of the Braca ladies, all of our clan members have this pair of pants. Uh, I don't know if you can see it correctly. It's, it looks like it's velour leather, like it's actual leather, but it's not. <laughs> it's completely fake. And they have it in different sizes. I took it in large. And it costs 14 euro something. And it's also really fast. It has pockets, so that's a bit shady. <laughs> But um, we usually wear leather skirts over it so you can't see it. And they totally look like they're actual leather pants, which they're not. They're just fake. <laughs> All right. Those would be my, is my tip number one in terms of Amazon, which is just so great. And now I have tip number two. Tip number two, of course, all of these things that I'm going to present to you today are kind of barbarian because I play a Celtic barbarian. Um, but they might help you as well. <laughs> and uh, one of them, one of the tips that might ever help everybody is this one. The thing that I have in my face, the blood, it took us ages with our clan to find a color that actually looked like blood, which was not too violet, not too purple, not too blue, not too orange. We used to mix colors. We used to buy really expensive coloring and uh, then we found this <laughs> and ever since it has made our lives beautiful <laughs> and it's really easy to apply it's called a blood stick it's basically like a gigantic blood lipstick it looks like this there you go like a lipstick and you can also use it if you want to show that you have been wounded and just want to do a scratch or something but I know the coloring with this with this webcam, of course, is not that well, but it actually, in the, if you see it in real life, it looks like actual blood. Not as good as fake blood, like liquid fake blood, but still good. Look, you can just apply it like this, and the cool thing is you can just smooth it, smoosh it and, and do all kinds of things with it. I know the coloring is not good with the uh, camera, but it's, it's, just, it's just super cool. And every single one of our clan members has one of these sticks. And you can just apply it like that and it's done. And it's removed really easy. It's just soap or like wipes or something and it's gone. And the best thing is, guys, this thing from a uh, bloodstick from Oil and Spiegel, which is the brand, costs three euro and fifty cent. <laughs> and it's an Amazon Plus product. So I think how this works is if you buy like worth of 20 euro, then you can get this as well because it's so cheap that otherwise it's not worth for Amazon to ship it to you. So that's really handy. All of the, all of the Braga have one of these and we, we completely love it. The only thing that is a bit problematic is, um, like as you can see, you can really, or here, you can really, yeah, you can really smooth it really easily. So if it's, if it's here, if I want to have it like a stripe and I come at it, then it's, see, like it's, it's going away. That's it's because it's a fat base. It's not water base. It's fat base. So that's kind of a. Eh. But apart from that, I mean the price and the coloring. Really good. All right. So this was tip number two. The blood stick comes in really handy, even if you just want to um, pretend you have a wound or something. You just have it in your pocket. You get it out. Nobody sees it. Apply. Done. All right. Now tip number three. Um, it's, uh, this is actually also something that is worth for a lot of people out there who just want to um, have something that is really cool that, um, right, I'll show you. This is an antler, an antler from like a horn, but 
you can completely, it's completely flexible. And you can apply it anywhere you want, and you can use it in battle. So you can go with this on your shoulders, on wherever you want to have it, and you will not hurt anybody because, see, you cannot destroy it. And it's completely flexible. And um, it's what we use on weapons, on actually even as chains. Um, you can use it on your armor, on, on a dagger to look nice. Um, they don't only have antlers, but they also have all kinds of horns, all kinds of teeth. They have all kinds of skulls, which is really cool. So if you want to have a skull, but you, you're afraid that it's going to break if you have a real skull, this is perfect. And um, they're actually here on Facebook. It's called Trollmarkt. I'm actually going to pay, put all the links down below so later on you can have a look at it. And one of these costs 15 euro. So one five, 15 euro. And it's actually probably cheaper than all of the actual normal antlers out there. And they don't hurt and they don't break. <laughs> because let me tell you, my clan has the stag god. The stag god, which means we have a lot of stags and antlers everywhere and a lot of real antlers. And we had so many people get wounded because this hangs somewhere in our big tent and somebody comes against against it and they just hurt themselves. Or like my good friend Barbara, she stepped on a huge antler and completely pierced her foot. <laughs> so these things are dangerous. They're weapons, but like that, you can use it anywhere you want and you don't get hurt and they're really cheap. So those would be my three tips on actual things you can buy. I also have for everybody else who doesn't necessarily like that barbaric style, <laughs> have three tips on how to find cheap things on the internet or in, in general. The first one, have a look on your online platforms like Amazon, look on eBay. In Germany, we have eBay Kleinanzeigen, that's gold. In um, the US, that's called like Craigslist. Then in Australia, that would be like Gumtree. Just look on those kind of platforms and have a look for things that you would need. Don't necessarily type in LARP, but type in the things that you would want. For example, you're looking for leather pants, type in leather pants. You're looking for Western clothes, then look for Western clothes. You're doing a post-apocalyptic style LARP, then look for um, army stuff, you know? Those kind of things secondhand are super cheap and easy to get on Amazon, eBay, Gumtree, Craigslist, and all that, right? Then the second tip, there's a lot of platforms on Facebook that sell secondhand LARP gear. Like LARP is like you and me, go on there and say, well, I have this sword, I don't use it anymore, let me sell it for half the price. They're usually called LARP outfits or LARP flea market, um, in your language, of course. It's Flohmarkt in German, for example. You can have a look in there, and there's a lot of people who want to sell things, or they build things and want to resell them. So have a look there for cheap stuff. And then the third thing, of course, there's a lot of LARP shops out there, actual resellers that don't do anything but selling LARP stuff. And there's a lot of cheap ones as well. And it's totally fine to go for your basic stuff and just, I don't know, your shirts and stuff. You can actually get them cheaper there usually because... I mean, they they produce they have their production in in cheaper countries, and they have huge masses of shirts that they produce. So they want to, they will get them cheaper than you can make them yourself. For example, in Germany we have Mythalon. That's spelled with T H Mythalon. dot or dot com. I'm not sure. They have shirts for beginners that probably cost you like ten to twenty euro. And then you can upgrade them and make them your own, and it's totally worth it. You can never make them as cheap as they do it. Also, last tip for today is for all you people who want to craft yourself, look for wholesalers. Look for people, for shops that have large quantities of something. For example, we, the Baraka Keltai, we wear a lot of leather. So we make a lot of leather things ourselves. We don't go, and leather is really expensive, let me tell you. We don't go to the small, small shops who just have one or two leather skins there and, and pay, I don't know, 30 euro for something like this. That would be so expensive. No, we go to wholesalers, to big markets for 
businesses, you know, like we, in German, we say Großmarkt for leather. And there you can find it really cheap. You can find like a rest, like rests there, or cheap, cheap scraps of leather for, in Munich, for 15 euro per kilo. Per kilo, not per skin, per kilo. <laughs> so you have, I don't know, I think I once made a really good deal and I had the thin velour leather, like the really nice wild leather. I think I had so many skins that I could make two skirts and two tops and and I still had some rests for I think 25 euro so that's super cheap just have your eyes open and look for for easy and good stuff all right so those would be my tips I hope you like them I will definitely put the links below and now I have some time for questions and answers if you like to I'm gonna scroll through the questions give me a second and a sip of my vodka ginger oh mm. all right so many Okay, there I was. Mike, couple of tips. A lot of experienced lovers have plenty of extra clothing that they're not using anymore. True. <laughs> Borrowing, buying stuff from these is a good idea. That is very true. If you have a group, then usually you have kind of also group stuff that you can lend to other people, at least we do. Thrift, store, thrift, thrift stores, I shouldn't, I shouldn't drink vodka. Thrift stores, yeah. Sadly, in Germany, we don't have that many, I find. That's so much cooler in like Australia or the US or something where you usually have like church thrift, <laughs> church thrift stores <laughs> that sell things for like one or two bucks. And especially like the fur from the fur coat from grandma. Perfect thing. Actually, wait on, hold on for a second. These shoes that I have, this fur here is from a coat, from an old coat that cost me, I think, 40 euro, the whole thing, and I still have fur left. <laughs> it's so it's so amazing. And this is actual, I don't know what it is, fox or something. I'm good. And I don't really like like uh, buying new, new stuff in terms of fur, so I do secondhand that would die otherwise. Um, Edward says, I think the best way to start is to know somebody who LARPs. Yes, of course, that's always nice, but then there's people out there who don't know somebody who LARPs. But they can right here underneath my video and get to know people. Um, then I find a group that fits to your wanted style and make contact, talk with them, and they will lend you some basic stuff. Yep, that's a tip that comes over and over. Where do you find the leggings? I'll definitely later on put all the put all the links below, so you can just just find them. A rather cheap start into LARP get together in a group. Yep, that seems that seems something that <laughs> a lot of people say. Yeah, bloodstick is amazing, really amazing. Does it come in other colors? I'm not sure if you're referring to the bloodstick. Then no, because it's a bloodstick. <laughs> There's no different colors. No, it's just this one blood color. Um, I'm afraid. Uh, um, after the live stream, would love links to anything you show today. Yep, Alyssa, of course. Um, costuming swap shop for ladies in the US. All, all eras costuming swap shop for ladies in the US. Nice. Why don't we have that in Germany? <laughs> Next, next video, how to make a vodka ginger. Well, it takes two shots of vodka. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's crashing? Video crashed? Oh no, why? And we're back. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm really late. Did you see me again? Can you see me and hear me again? Yeah? Video idea, Brahaka Kelto, performance of Macklemore's thrift shop. Yeah, until then I will practice my thrift shop. Thrift shop. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I will. We will definitely do a video like that. That's actually a really good idea. A video on how to shop in a thrift shop <laughs> as a LARPer. Perfect. Bought, sold. We'll do that. All right, guys, 
It's been a blast as usual, loving your company. Next Thursday, there will be the next live stream. So definitely put that into your calendar. I think I'm going to stick to the Thursday, 20, 20 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. kind of live stream. I'm going to answer all your comments later on. But of course, wait, we cannot finish without this. Oh, and one last thing. Why am I going to travel about 4,000 kilometers for this channel in the next weeks? Well, that's the story for a different day. See you guys.